every day with it. I'ma show you how to get it. You're, 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 you're that. What's going on, man? It's your boy Philly Fresh, aka the General, here reporting for duty, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know who it is, man. Ah. First of all, I want to thank everybody that subscribed, man. Welcome to the Fresh Family. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Now, this video today is kind of a throwback. I know it's Tuesday. It ain't Thursday, right? But it's kind of a throwback because I want to, I want to, I want y'all to see why it behooves, why it's so important that how we get some receivers, some good receivers, finally draft some good receivers, man. Uh, I made this video that we're going to throw back on. I made this video, I want to say January. I think it was the day after Harold Carmichael got um, inducted into the Hall of Fame, right? So, as I'm, as, as, as I'm making a congratulations video to him, I, I sat back and thought about it. Like, since he's been out the league, how many Hall of Fame wide receivers have we drafted? You want to know the answer? I don't think you do. Because it's zip, zero, not a, not a, not a damn one. Then I thought, well, how many has been to the Pro Bowl since Harold Carmichael? You want to know the answer to that? Stay tuned. Video coming now. Carmichael, man, long overdue. Dude should have been in the Hall of Fame. He finally gets there. Um, leads the uh, Eagles and damn near everything uh, by from a receiver. Touchdowns, um, receiving yards, um, all that. Completions, all that, man, as a receiver. And it's real substantial that this about this video because this is about that. This is about... The Eagles as an organization for a very, 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 very long time has not done good when it comes to drafting wide receivers. And I'm going to show you how, man. We're going to get into it right now. Look, Harold Carmichael, right? He was drafted 1971. So you mean to tell me in 30, not because he played 10 years. So in 38 years, nobody could surpass, no receiver could surpass um, him. And in, in what do you got? Uh, five hundred and uh, five hundred and uh, four uh, forty nine receptions, eight thousand four hundred and fourteen yards, seventy seven touchdowns. Um, and he leaves he he leaves the Eagles organization history and all of that. So you mean to tell me in thirty eight years in a passing league, couldn't nobody do that? Couldn't nobody surpass Harold Carmichael? I'm gonna show you why. Since nineteen seventy one. We went a whole 11 years without having a pro bowl that we drafted, without having a pro bowler wide receiver that we drafted, which was Mike Quick, right? So in 92, we drafted Mike Quick. Another, it took a, another eight years to get a pro bowl, a pro bowler uh, at the wide receiver position, which was Fred Barnett. And that was in 1990, right? Um, then we drafted Troy Smith in uh, 2000. Uh... I think he only played like, dude only played like three games, man. Here's a, and here's another thing. Here's a list of, um, I want to say a list of uh, players, receivers that only played, only played three years for us, man. Only played three or, or or four years at the most four years. We got um, we got Chris T. Jones, Matt Hollins, Reggie Brown, Sheldon Gibson. So you got all these dudes that didn't even that don't even surpass four years. See what I'm saying? So these is one of the reasons why that nobody is surpassing uh, Harold Carmichael. And it, and it's not looking good for the organization, right? So, in 2000, um, you got to, uh, we drafted Todd Pinkston in the second round. No Pro Bowls, right? Um, in 2001, we drafted Freddie Mitchell. Freddie Mitchell, uh, okay. No Pro Bowls. And you know who we uh, passed up on? Chad o Ocho Cinco, man. We, uh, we he was Chad Johnson then. We surpassed. We 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 didn't take him. We took Freddie Mitchell over there. It's a reason that I'm getting into all this because our evaluation as a uh, our evaluation of um, wide receivers is not that good as an organization, man. So something has to change. Hold up, but I'm not done though. Let's get to it. 2005, we drafted Reggie Brown in the second round. Really? 
Okay, so for 2000, from 2000 to 2009, the draft is pretty good. That's when we got uh, we got D, uh, DJ, and he has a chance to surpass a lot of these um, things if he can stay healthy. So we got DJ and we got Macklin. Those was 08 and 09. They're good drafts. And a couple years after that, I ain't really going to – it was Chip, but it still was the Eagles organization that was making that was making the wrong – that was picking up the wrong the wrong wide receivers, and we're still doing it to this day. We're still doing it to this day. We picked up J, uh, JJ Arthiga Whiteside instead of instead of getting Metcalf. As an organization, man, we have to do better drafting wide receivers. We're really not we're really not good at it, man. <clears throat> we're really not good at it. Um, do you know since Howie has been here, he has never drafted an Alabama player. At all, at no position, that has to change. It is a lot. It is a lot of good talent, especially at the wide receiver position from Alabama, from Clemson. He he doesn't draft from these top schools at, as much as he drafts from the lower schools. I don't understand why. That if the talent is there, you have to grab the talent. Forget this locker room thing. Forget forget if the dude is a good fit. If he is talented and he can go out there and ball, you got to get him, man. There's it, it, no rap about that. You have, to get, you have to get the talent because this league is about talent now. It's not about good fits. It's not about good schemes most of the time. Most of the time it's about who can win a one-on-one matchups. Who is faster? Who is bigger? Who is stronger? So as, as an organization and Howie Roseman, now that you are, are ahead of everybody, it's no more Joe Douglas. So you are taking all the heat about this. Now, when we come into the draft, we got 10 picks. When we come into this draft, we have to make sure that, hands down, we pick talent, not scheme fits. I don't want to hear, oh, this cornerback was a good scheme fit for Jim. Jim, they, get, they let you draft, basically. You get to pick your own players. I don't understand why Doug doesn't get to pick his own players, but Jim Schwartz gets to pick his own players. So all the cornerbacks that we have that we have drafted, this was what Jim Schwartz won. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to do better as an organization in drafting, man. And it starts It starts with Howie. It starts with Howie. You might have to take the reins from Jim because it seems like he doesn't know how, he doesn't know how to draft the talent. The talent. Linebackers. No, we have no talented linebackers. We have no playmakers on defense. Malcolm Jenkins is a good player, but he is not a playmaker. There's a difference. The dude Adams from um from the New York Jets, he's a safety. He is a playmaker. Malcolm Jenkins is a good player, man. Not taking nothing from him, man. Getting old up there, not as fast as he used to be, but he gets the defense where they need to be. But he's not a playmaker. See what I'm saying? Really, our only playmaker on the whole defense is Fletcher Cox. And he didn't have a good year. He had a good he had a good game playoff game he had a great uh, playoff game but he did not have a good year man so we have to evaluate talent better man when you send in these scouts out and you sitting there and 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 you come to their home or wherever wherever it is you come to their practices or whatever it is man forget about what comes out their mouth forget about what they say and look at the talent and evaluate what's going on on that field who is the best player that's going to be coming up in the draft, man, with the 21st pick? That's what you got to do, man. I'm tired of, I'm tired of hearing, I'm tired of not getting this talent, man. I got a long list. I got a long list, man. 48 years of really no talented wide receivers right here, man. No talented wide receivers. Out of 48 years, we got about that we drafted. We got other uh, we got other receivers that made it to the Pro Bowl. I'm talking about that we drafted. Out of 45 years, we got five receivers to the Pro Bowl that we drafted. That is horrible as an organization. Just think about if you would have drafted Chad Johnson and Chad Johnson would have had McNabb. You seen what he did when he when we when he had T.O. for uh, uh, for two years, but you seen what he did when he had him for that four year. We went to the Super Bowl. It's about receivers, man. It's a re now. I know, I know, but I'm just trying to show 
everybody and Howie why it behooves him to make sure he doesn't mess this draft up. This draft is so important and it's very important to this organization and probably to his career. You got to get it right this year. You have to find one or two wide receivers in this draft that are, they don't got to be Hall of Fame, but they got to be all, all pro, pro bowl wide receivers, man. You have to find this kind of talent because this organization is not good at it, obviously. I just gave y'all the proof of that, man. If you haven't seen that video, man, I, I like, I, like I said, I think I made it in January. I had to put it back up. You know what I mean? If you've seen it twice, you know, you double dip. But in all, in all seriousness, man, Harry has, uh, Howie has to find a way to get this right, man. Let me know what y'all think in the, uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But y'all know what it is. Stay full. Stay fresh, y'all.